Okay. Now, what's the meaning of normal force? What's the meaning of friction force? Actually, the normal force and the friction force is produced by what? It's produced by, by the force, reaction force, by the surface. Because I have surface, because I have surface here, so definitely I have normal force and I have horizontal force. Any touching to any surface, okay, this surface will produce two reaction forces, or touching surface will produce two reaction forces. One of them is normal, and the other is horizontal. And the horizontal force is what? Is the friction force. Okay? That's why the coefficient of friction actually represents the two forces of the surface. Okay? The relation between these things. So, I will do here, or I can say it here again. Coefficient of friction in general is equal horizontal force to the what? To the normal to the normal force. Horizontal force to the normal force. So, in the static case, I have what? I have the horizontal force is what? A static friction force, right? So I said F static to the what? Normal. To the normal. Okay? But I have problem. F static here, it's from 0 to Fs maximum. So which one I should take? Fs maximum. I have to take Fs maximum. Yes. This is Fs maximum. Okay? It's clear? I'm sorry. Fs maximum. Okay? To the normal. What about a mu k? A mu k is equal to what? Horizontal force and horizontal force is Fk to what? To the no normal force. Clear? This is the thing. So, in general, I can say, I will mean, put it here. I can say Fs maximum is equal to mu s n. Right? And Fk is equal what? Is equal to mu k n. Always mu k. Always mu k. Less than mu s. Why? Because always Fk less than Fs maximum. Okay? This is the uh, general definition. So I can say from this, because Fs maximum from 0 to Fs maximum, right? Fs from 0 to Fs, Fs maximum. So I can say, I can write this 0 greater than mu s. Sorry. Fs here. And this is less than mu s n, because mu s n is Fs maximum. Okay? So I can say that. Now, what's the properties of... Okay. Yes. You mean that uh, mu s is greater than mu k because f s... Maximum greater than f k. Yes. Okay. Now, let's take the... To compare between the static friction force and the kinetic friction force. The direction of static friction force is always opposite to the resultant of forces acting resultant of forces acting on the body okay what I mean resulting of the forces in the horizontal direction so always opposite to the resultant horizontal component of the resultant of forces acting to the body let's say I have body here okay and this is the surface okay now I am on top of you Okay? So I have force like this, I have force like this, I have force like this. So let's say the resultant of this is this. This is the force. So where is the Fs? Will be in this direction. Okay? If this is in what? If this is in a static case. But in dynamic case, or kinetic case, okay, I have different things. I don't care where is my force is acting on the body. Where is the motion? Where is the velocity? Let's say I have this, okay, and this is in motion. So let's say the velocity in this direction, okay, the velocity of this. This is the velocity maybe increased or decreased, it's not my problem. 
I have motion so always the FK will be in the opposite direction of velocity opposite direction of motion regardless of the forces acting on the body why? because always the friction force tries to stop my object so it's moved in this direction so kinetic friction force will be in the opposite direction regardless of the forces acting on the body okay? why? because sometimes we are in the car we press the brakes, right? apply the brakes so you know, acceleration where the force where behind, right? behind us, because this is, you know, slow down and the friction where also behind us, why? because I said, the, the car still moves in this direction, right? and I said this is opposite to the motion FK always opposite to the what? to the motion, I have motion in this direction, even if this motion slow down so my friction will be opposite to my motion clear? This is the very important thing because we have questions in the, in the discussion that where is the direction of the kinetic friction force, where is the direction of the static friction force. Okay? So you have to answer it and write uh, things. Now, how I do it practically? I want to find the friction force and actually the coefficient of friction depending on the nature of the two surfaces it's not depend on the weight it's not depend on the touching area and we'll see it today in the experiment so here how to find the the static friction force this is the body I will increase the force until reach the what the maximum force okay before motion okay so this is will represent the F maximum right this is equal exactly to what to the FS maximum in the other direction right and here I have mg and here is what is normal I know the mu S is equal FS maximum to what to the normal force here Fs maximum is equal F maximum the maximum force before motion, right? or F in general, I can say F this is F in general ok, to the what? to the normal force and normal force is mg ok, so divide this and the, to this and get the mu S now, if I increase the weight what will happen to the force? it's increased you get the point? if I increase this this is will increase if I decrease this, this is will decrease, right? so always this value is constant so this is constant horizontal force or static friction force depending on the normal force but the coefficient of friction is not depends on this why? because if I increase the static friction force, I increase the normal force at the same time, or I increase the normal force and the, as a result the friction, static friction force will increase so always the ratio between them is equal right? always the ratio between them is constant it's not depending on the touching area it's not depend depending on the weight it's, not depend it's only depending on the nature of two surfaces two touching surfaces ok? if I have the same thing, so I have the same result ok, this is for, for this I mean I increase, maybe I increase with some mass here and find the FS maximum, I will see it, it's increased so I can find it